All right, so the thing about Azure Tables is that you can uh, use it within either CosmoDB, okay, or you can use it within Account Storage. And the thing is, is that um, it's a really good uh, comparison to look at these two things because this way we can really understand like how powerful CosmoDB is, all right? Uh, so we'll, what we'll do is compare the two. So over here, when you have Azure Tables in Account Storage, it's fast, but it has no upper bounds on latency. For Azure Cosmo DB, it's going to give you single digit millisecond latency for reads and writes. For throughputs, it's variable throughput, and it's limited to 20,000 operations. You get a guaranteed uh, backed by an SLA and no upper limits when you're using Cosmo DB. For global distribution, it's a single region. Uh, and for Cosmo DB, you have uh, 30 plus regions. For indexing, you only get the primary index or partition and row, no secondary indexes. And then for um, Cosmo DB, you get automatic and complete indexing in all properties, no index management. For querying, you get query execution, uses index uh, for primary key and scans otherwise. And for uh, Cosmo DB, you get queries that can take advantage of automatic indexing on properties for fast query times. For consistency, we got strong with primary region and eventual with secondary regions and with uh cosmo db there's like five <laughs> you know what i mean there's just uh the consistency levels are a lot more flexible okay for pricing it's consumption based and then for um cosmo db you have consumption based or provision capacity for the slas it's 99.99 percent availability and here it it's backed by an sla but some conditions it does not apply okay so you know, hopefully that shows you that CosmoDB like is very performant, is globally available, uh, single digit millisecond. And I, I really feel like this is to compete with um, AWS um, DynamoDB because it sounds so similar to DynamoDB. But um, yeah, there you go.